Hello, it's Estrella with the reading for the collective. I hope that you all are well. Um, watch out for scammers in the comment section. To get my coffee. All right, what do we need to know? What does the collective need to know that is watching? Wow, this Four of Wands keeps coming out a lot. This one inverted. Some sort of tension, anxious or hurried. I wonder if there's a marriage. Someone's like trying to run into a marriage. Or this is like some sort of a milestone that someone's trying to head towards and it's a disaster. A group of people um, reacting to a tower or it's just home is unhappy. A very unhappy home, insincere surroundings, turbulence. Okay, let's keep, we'll find out what it's about. Temperance, not a good mix. Someone could be drinking a lot. There could be discord. It's just really hard to find balance. Synergy. This is definitely unbalanced because fours are structure. This, the flow is off. The flow is off. There's no healing either. Temperance. Yeah, temperance as a challenge. That's what that would be. Could be also a lack of patience or um, lack of patience. Well, three of wands reverse. So this has a lot to do with this is what happens right before the four. Threes lead to fours, obviously. Um, in the three, this person has, when it's upright, it's fire. So it's like action, spark, ideas. Um, and the three is groups. So um, it's uh, waiting on others or waiting for some efforts that have been, um, someone got their balance in the two. They made a choice, they took action, they're waiting in the three. This could also um, indicate travel, some type of travel, but someone has their eye on the prize. Um, expand, expanding, they're hopeful. Um, because they put the work in this way though someone's feeling either like something's not going anywhere or stuck or yeah that, that this there's some sort of delay or obstacles that's in their subconscious there's a bit of hopelessness with that energy Especially working in this, it's because of whatever's going on here is making this person feel like just something is taking forever or it's not going to come. Wow, five of coins in the reverse. So fives are hard. They're generally going to be challenging. They... They're just change, they represent change. Um, this is pentacles, changes in, in coins, the material world, poverty. Usually that's what this card is, five of coins. It can also mean impoverished, separate from God, lack mentality. Reverse, either someone is trying to recover from that situation. Um, Or it's a worsening of it. Someone could have, someone could have tried, gifted someone something to, to recover, or or it's a worsening of it. And but they might have recovered, but now they're in a situation where it's something that's just hurried and not a good, not a good mix at all. It really could be a wedding. There could be someone racing into a wedding to save themselves from poverty um, or lack of funds. 
They could be marrying for money, but I'm not sure yet. Let's keep going. This could be anything. This could be something like a business idea, create a pursuit. This could be some sort of like party gathering that just feels very, um, there's a lot of tension. So let's see. The intentions of this person. They want to redo something. They feel like the efforts they put in before were not successful. They've got to um, be diligent, plan. They've got to plan something out. They've got to really focus in. A lot of um, Taurus energy here, Aries, um, Sagittarius. Okay, so we've got High Priestess in the reverse in the near future. This is a very intuitive feminine energy in the upright, just um, generally quiet, has, has access to knowledge. They don't really talk about, or they just know things, very intuitive, generally quiet person, but in the reverse, they still have um, presence as if they know something, but they could be misguiding others because they don't have the knowledge or they're getting their information from lower vibrational energies, meaning they need to do shadow work. They need to look inward. They need to deal with the problems that, that are causing them to act from the negative polarity, the darker side of themselves. And, um, to, they're trying to manifest ideas from there. They could be guiding others as well. So this is a bad influence here. Bad influence. This feminine energy is a bad influence showing up in the near future. Judgment reverse. So judgment, judgment in the upright. That's Gabriel's horns. Um, it's it's Pluto. Pluto is, a, is the slowest moving planet in our solar system. And when it comes through, it causes transformation. It's very fiery, fiery energy. So, um, you know, Gabriel's blowing, blowing his horns and the, the, the people have to wake up. So it's, um, you know, a reckoning, it's awakening. It's a calling, a, it's a final decision or decision has to be made or someone needs to make atonement. Um, follow their calling, but in this reverse, they don't want to listen. They're, they're, they feel doubtful about the direction to go. They feel a delay. They're not sure. They're unsure. They're not awakening. Um, they don't want to listen. They don't want, they see it, but they don't want to do what they know is right. Or it's also just the way that they're leaving the, their, their legacy behind is it's, it's, looking back there isn't a lot that they can say that how they've contributed or that's what's going to happen if they keep continuing to not listen to their higher calling basically so this is the lens that someone's looking through it's kind of how they're seeing the world so a lot of delays here someone could be trying to hurry something because they feel like their ships aren't coming in but there's no, this is not a good mix, not a good mix at all. And they're not listening to their better judgment. Whatever circumstance they're in is uh, not good. There's a queen of pentacles in the upright in the environment. So this is a feminine energy who's very um, protective, generous, charming, intellectual, kind, truthful, practical. The moon, this is in the hopes and fears position. Um, so we've got someone who could be afraid of what's coming up from the subconscious. Um, they could be worried about an unclear path ahead. They could be worried about having to follow their instincts. They could be worried because they're trying to create an illusion so that someone else feels that, that kind of confusion. 
Um, there could be some sort of deception they're, they're worried about or that they want to create. Um, there could be some definite like fear. This, this person could feel a little bit spooked by their life. Um, Pisces. Outcome, we have strength. So someone might need a lot of strength to deal with whatever this outcome is, or they're going to, they're going to emerge from the situation with a lot of confidence or someone is. So we'll see. Um, that's Leo. Um, yeah, under the deck we have full. So somebody, this is acting recklessly. Uh, it's full reverse. Full in the upright is someone who has a lot of in innocence. Um, there's something about their innocence where they, they're protected from the evils of the world. When it's, when it's reversed, there's some sort of recklessness. So someone is acting very recklessly. They're not listening to their better judgment. Something's very hurried here. There's no balance. Someone, there's a lack of balance. They're... So some sort of like an unwise decision. Someone, the, the only intention that I see here that is balanced is the seven, seven of coins. Um, but that's, that's a reap what you sow type of card. Whatever you, you build, whatever you plan is, is going to, um, produce some type of crop. And, but this person is acting recklessly and they're not listening to their better judgment and they feel like they're going to plan something they're going to really focus on because they don't like where they found themselves. But the thing is, is they're very hurried and unbalanced. There's lack of balance. They're trying to get out of some situation. Um, and whoever this is, it, and this could be them, this high priestess in the reverse. Or if they've got some guidance, they're listening to someone who doesn't have good guidance. They're not listening to their call. They're not listening to the heavens. Their instincts are, they're afraid of their instincts. They're not even sure if this is the right thing. Let's keep going. So four of wands. What does this four of wands have to do with? There's a queen of swords. This is someone who, um, this is a feminine energy who speaks very clearly, is very intelligent, forthright, graceful, perceptive, who who has something to say or is listening and then will say what they've got to say. They're very truthful in regards to some sort of in, injustice because we've got justice reversed. So it's an injustice. There's a queen of swords. This could be a professional. This could be um, an, an, a lawyer. Um, some type of very... Um, Some position of leadership that is uh, re requires intelligence, um, high level thinking. I'm trying to think of the word, but um, this Queen of Swords could be pointing out this injustice. And then Four of Swords reverse. There's something about someone being very, very exhausted from something continuing in spite of dire stress. So there could be a queen of swords here who um, is a very sturdy force in regards to it, some injustice. And um, this could be this queen of swords that is dealing with this four of swords in reverse or someone else could be experiencing these feelings because of this Queen of Swords in reverse, I mean, in this Four of Swords of reverse. So in other words, someone could be very um, tired and need a break because of an injustice, or they could be tired and need a break because someone's speaking about an injustice. And then it feels like, so, so, so obviously this is what someone's reacting to. There's some kind of tension in regards to what could be a very happy home, a celebration, um, community, 
that something's off. Something's very much off. There's a foundation or a structure that is off. Someone is pointing this out. Someone is experiencing this. And someone is very clear and perceptive as to what this injustice is, why this is happening. So this is the center of the issue. This is the center of the issue. And someone's going to actually um, recklessly, maybe because of what this Queen of Swords is saying, or they're just very perceptive. Temperance. Eight of Cups. This is about needing to walk away from a situation. Something's really hard to walk away from, potentially. Or someone doesn't want someone to walk away. But, or someone needs to walk away from a situation where there's a lack of balance or healing. Eight of Wands has to do with um, quick, quick movement, quick action, very, very fast. A, a quick decision that's made. It could be falling in love. It could be something, uh, email, text message, something on the internet because it moves very quickly. Quick communication, a final decision. Um, so it's like someone really wants to walk away quickly here because there's not a good, there's not a good mix. Someone could be listening to this Queen of Swords. There could be something. There could be an, uh, uh, like a gathering or something like that, and. This Queen of Swords could be at the gathering. This person could be very perceptive and just at the, in this situation where there's a lack of structure. Whether they're in the same physical space or not, there seems to be some sort of like, there's there, the, more than one person here at this four, this four, this reverse four of wands. So something about someone communicating, something about walking away or making a quick decision to find something with more meaning in their lives. In this challenge position here, you know, you know, something's not a good mix. Someone can't heal from something and they, they need to move on. This eight of cups in a challenge position could be um, just returning to the same situation. Instead of being able to walk away and find meaning, this person just kind of is living in a loop, something like that. So we'll keep going though. So we have, um, someone's feeling like their ships aren't coming in. Wow. Something has to do with someone stealing, lying, or cheating. They know that in their subconscious, there's someone who's like, they feel like someone, someone's been watching what they've been up to. They could be trying to steal ideas or anytime someone takes an action, there's someone there in the background trying to, you know, cut down whatever they've done. This is like someone, you know, puts up a, someone's building a house and someone re removes the screws when the person moves into the next room. It's kind of like that. Um, that's what this energy is. And it's in the subconscious about someone working against someone to, someone's lying about someone. This seven of swords is a lying, cheating, thieving card, essentially. Someone's trying to be crafty and they're doing it secretly. The only time the Seven of Swords is good is if um, someone needs to, you know, work on the side of justice or they need to be crafty to be to find safety. Other than that, it's a pretty nefarious card. So we have someone who, um, someone who's trying to knock someone down here uh, and they know it in their subconscious to try to, or, or this has to do with someone's arrogance for for doing this in the past. And that's why someone is dealing with this um, lack of, of this tur turbulence. Someone's dealing with turbulence that they, that, where there's just no, no good uh, mix here, where they keep returning to the same situation over and over again because of something that someone has done secretly there's some lies and someone really knows that in their subconscious sometimes it's hard to access these things when they're dealing with all of this poverty lack of money all of that stuff but um so someone could feel like someone's working against them now or they're going through these problems because of this injustice right now there's an injustice someone is pointing it out 
Someone is pointing out an injustice. Someone knows something about someone's trying to steal something or block someone's way. Or lie about them, and that's the injustice. Maybe that's the injustice. In the recent past, um, yeah, someone's waiting for their ships to come in, but someone, you know, it's like a pirate. Before something came to the shore, someone did something. Um, in the, the recent past, someone was really stuck. This is Eight of Swords, emotionally stuck, psychologically stuck, trapped, feeling disempowered um, in regards to money, trying to get out of a situation, or feeling feeling um, a, a sense of lack, somehow needing, needing a gift, needing something. Um, or this could be someone else has recovered and someone else felt trapped because someone else that they, maybe they tried to do something to someone, you know, a pirate at the shore, trying to steal someone else's goods. Um, but someone recovered. Maybe they had ships coming in and at other ports. Uh, or maybe they... Oh, they missed something, and now, now it's just, it just has this, this, whatever this is, someone is, um, experiencing the effects of whatever these actions are, for sure, 100%, because now they're acting recklessly, this person, there's no good, there's no balance in this person's life, a lack of healing, there's discord wherever they go, so... I feel like this wants to come out. Empress. Someone might have their... Um, someone might be trying to think through planning something for feminine energy. An empress who... This is a, this is a major arcana. This is someone that represents all queens in the deck. So they're very evolved abundant feminine energy who who um, people tend to do well around they're very nurturing and um, well-rounded feminine energy ding so someone's planning something in regards to them they they're not done yet they feel like they've there's something else they've got to do and they're doing it recklessly this could be this person that um, Whose, whose own ships aren't coming in because they keep focusing on this empress. They could be experiencing a lack of balance because this is what's happening. This is their intentions. They're looking out at someone else. They're experiencing turbulence, a lack of balance, ret returning to the same situation over and over and over again. They've been trapped. They're losing money. They're feeling a sense of lack. And then now they're focused on someone else. They need to plan something. There's something they feel they've got to persevere. Two, two of swords reverse. This is, uh, well, it's swords, so it's thinking, thoughts, ideas, it's air. A two is, is balance. Um, making a decision. It's, um, uh, a choice has to be made. It's easier sometimes to keep the blindfold on and not make a choice at all. Um, but sometimes that can create a stalemate. Sometimes someone creates a stalemate on purpose as a tactic. But reversed, reverse someone made a choice and it was a mistake. Or someone's seeing something. They take the blinders off because this can be refusing to see this way. They take the blinders off and lo and behold, there's a high priestess in the reverse, someone who is guiding someone the wrong direction. Someone who does not have the best intentions, someone who has hidden motives. This person has hidden motivation. So whoever this is, if this is them planning something out now, they're gonna, someone's gonna find out very clearly in the very near future that this was a mistake. I, and some of this, this person is short-sighted. 
or they could be very superficial. So there could be someone very superficial trying to figure something out in regards to an empress. They might want this empress to walk away from something and they feel unsuccessful. They're trying to stop someone from, from achieving something, I feel like. Someone who has their eye on the prize. This Four of Wands, this this could be something that, that could be very celebratory. This could be joyful for everyone, this feeling of having arrived. Because there's multiple people involved here, but it's been turned upside down. There's an injustice. And, and people or someone keeps returning to the same situation over and over again. There's no healing. There's a loss, a sense of lack. Someone's doing something recklessly now, and they're focused on this empress. And it's going to be another mistake, another mistake. And they're not listening to their better judgment. Whoever this is is not listening to their better judgment about this five of coins. Someone's trying to get out of the cold somehow. This is what happened in the recent past. They felt trapped in some situation. Probably based on an injustice, the universe is balancing itself out. If they stole something, if they were, you know, they tried to pirate someone's goods, you know, it's just the universe is balancing itself out. It's like natural law. It's just the way that it works. It's just, it's, it really is not actually so mysterious. Justice, balance, we see it all over. We see it on earth. We see it. We see it playing out. And so in ways that we can't see energy, it's, it's, it's safe to assume, aside the fact that there are things that we don't understand, chaos, but that, that there are some things that are very con fairly consistent, like gravity, balance. Balance, we see it all the time. So balance is playing itself out. That means that someone stole something or tried to block someone, now they're experiencing it. Just balancing it out. Someone, something is returning to someone. That's the justice someone's supposed Talking about an injustice, something something's going to be righted here. The universe is doing this. Someone someone doesn't like the experience, so they're trying to act recklessly. To they feel like they need to double down on whatever this injustice is. But they're not listening to their better judgment. They're not listening to correct action. I mean, it's not that they're not getting the calling. They know this is the lens that they're looking through. This, this is like saying no to, to the universe. Because they, they don't like the lack they're experiencing, so... They're gonna try to take more from this Empress, but that's the problem. It's a problem, because other people are getting hurt here. Five of Wands reverse. This has to do with like competition, people fighting, conflict. It's in the reverse, so that could be the conflict is over in regards to this Queen of Pentacles. So there could be someone here. This could be another feminine energy that's not the Empress and not this High Priestess in reverse, who's very balanced, who doesn't want to have this tension they can see they're on the outside or they're in the environment they can see what's going on or this could be an aspect of this empress energy where whatever it was that someone was trying to do to compete with them by stealing or stopping them with this you know whatever this three of wands in the reverse is trying to stop someone who has their eye on the prize if they're an empress you know, it means that whatever they're working towards is also for others, 100%. So so that's why this is karmically just very unsound. Because they're not just affecting by stealing from one person who's waiting for their ships to come in. Whatever's in those ships is for others, too. So this is like a double whammy. Everybody who doesn't receive something that was meant to come to them from that ship through this person, that karma is playing out in whoever's life this is. They're responsible for other people slowing down others as well. Anyone who's not able to find this balance or structure based on whatever this empress is bringing to the table, this person is experiencing this lack for every person that's, that's missing something they should have had by now. 
as empresses, they work towards what they, they didn't just lend, they just, things didn't fall into this person's lap. They have had experiences, they've gone through pain and they've emerged as this empress in a position because they have something to say, do, give, etc. So, so someone doesn't want to compete with this person anymore or the, the competition is over. There could be a deepening of competition against this Queen of Pentacles, but I don't think that they're looking. They're looking at more practical things. Is this moon card someone who wants to create some deception or what? Maybe they're unclear about... This could be another aspect of this. There's a lot of feminine energies here. Someone could be very unclear about how this person goes about doing what they're doing. Or they want to create a deception about this person. I really feel like... I really feel like these are all different aspects of this one feminine energy because we've got a Queen of Swords out, Queen of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. The only one that's not here is the Queen of Cups, but the Empress is so um, compassionate that that could be the Queen of Cups as well. But all the Queens are out because we're talking about an Empress energy. So, so I feel like this person wants to create some sort of deception around this Queen of Wands. That's what I feel because it's Moon. The moon, something, some fear around this person or a deception, something that can't be seen, an illusion in connection to this queen of wands. This, this queen of wands is in the upright. All of these queens are in the upright. Only problem is this queen of this, I mean, sorry, this high priestess in the reverse. Outcome. Strength. Someone has a lot of strength here. Someone should li have listened to their better judgment about around whatever it is around someone's ships not coming in. Trying to block someone or pirate someone's goods, essentially. Someone's gonna, someone should, there's judgment here. This is the final calling. This is the final answer. It's the final decision in regards to whatever this Three of Wands, and someone's trying to steal or take or stop. So, Judgment, Three of Wands, they're right here. This person is like, it's interesting, they're looking at this person's Three of Wands here, in their subconscious. They, right on the other side of it is Judgment. It's turned upside down. Three of Wands turned upside down. Judgment. They're trying to get out of whack, but... There's something here in the subconscious that knows, they can very clearly see. So someone's taking action, I feel like they know this is wrong. Full reverse, they're gonna do something very reckless, they're just focused on just this empress. Someone has a lot of strength though, and they should have listened to their better judgment in regards to whatever this is. Yeah. <clears throat> this person is feeling a lot of grief, or sadness, or something like that. This five of cups. Let's go straight to the what's the tea and uh, find out. See if we can kind of accelerate the reading a little bit more. Um, see, in, in, incarcerated and fake flexing. So, someone who was putting forth a certain lifestyle that is not true or real, got trapped. If they steal and cheat and lie, it's just catching up to them, that's all. It's just catching up to them. Queen of Swords. Someone is holding a grudge towards this person. They're feeling like someone is speaking about an injustice. They're holding a grudge. There's a lot of tension here. Some, this Queen of Swords could be talking about someone who's holding some kind of a grudge. There's a grudge holder here who there's a lot of tension and turbulence because of a grudge holder. It's just not a happy home. It's not a happy environment. There's a milestone stone gone awry. 
something about... Someone is pointing out an injustice because of a grudge holder. Something about someone doesn't want to be rejected, someone, or someone's not rejected. Someone could have caught something in a situation. That card comes out a lot. Um, someone could have lost a lot of money. Someone could have tried to force their way into a situation. That's why there's like a lack of balance. Someone um, rejected. The problem is someone is feeling rejected. Or the problem is that they wanted someone to be rejected and they're not. They're the ones that are, they wanted someone to be broke. They wanted to force their way. They wanted, they wanted something. There's just a lack of balance here. Someone's holding a grudge. There's a lack of balance. Someone's rejected and broke. Someone trying to force their way on people. They want to force their way to get what they want. They want someone to be rejected. They want someone to lose their money. They want to force that to be. That's what I mean. It's like it's a pirate. It's basically a pirate. Um, yeah, drama starter. Who is the person stealing or trying to block the ship? So there's goods and services on their way that are delayed because of someone's drama. That is what is happening, literally. There's someone who is just creating a drama. Someone's trying to block something. This is a rejection. Block. Someone's trying to block something. It's a drama starter. Someone's trying to steal something, but they're acting recklessly now as well. They've been stuck in regards to like some sort of recovery. I think, feel like this has to do also with a divine feminine that someone tried to block, but like for some reason they still have money and someone they feel like, I feel like the reason why th this person is doing this is because this is definitely based on, this is an empress energy. There could be someone here who, you know, they're, they're superficial, they're short-sighted. They, the things that, that bother them wouldn't bother people who are more balanced. There's some sort of like, they feel competition, five, five of wands. They feel competition with this feminine energy who's exhibiting a lot of positive traits in the upright. They feel some type of way about this person. So so they, they have zeroed in, they are holding a grudge and they can't let it go on ruining someone. They want, they want them to be rejected. They don't want them to be all of these positive attributes. So many positive attributes. And they even see them that way. They see them because they're in the upright and that's what this person's looking at. So this person is is stuck on ruining one person that they see as standing in the upright in so many really positive ways and, and this person's work, they're trying to block that or their ship's coming in, they're creating drama. They want this person to be rejected and lose money. Why do they want this person's ships not to come in and for them to lose money? Well, there's some jealousy here. Eight of Wands in the challenge position definitely can be jealousy. It's a frustrated action. Um, this competition, this can be jealousy as well. What it is, is this person feels like if they can stop this person from achieving whatever they're working on, they will be rejected because they feel that th this person's milestones it, it brings people that admire them. They want to change the perception of how this person is um, perceived. And they also want this person to experience a loss. There, it's jealousy. They don't want this person to self-actualize because they're holding a, a grudge. So they want them to be rejected and lose money. This person is, has some sort of like mental, mental issues because 
they can't let go of something um, and it's very unhealthy the full reverse someone's acting very recklessly and um, they're not listening to their better judgment about this I'm not seeing a masculine energy here but there's a very good chance that this is a masculine <laughs> it actually could be that's doing this or this is a um either way it could be a masculine this could be someone from someone's past that doesn't want to see someone do good because they've let them go or because someone walked away and they can't fathom the idea of this person doing well without them people do that stuff they see them being happy and in the upright and self-actualizing and this person doesn't want that they don't want them to walk away they could feel rejected There's, this could be someone who walked away from someone and then doesn't want them to recover because it's either some kind of like a mental game or some kind of a i don't know where that got cut off someone is holding a grudge against someone they don't want them to do well if it's a feminine energy that's trying to stop this empress um there's there's some sort of they're in competition with this person eight of wands reverse five of wands um reverse they feel like if this person does well or their ships come in um then others will admire them and they're obviously in competition with them, so they want them to not be admired. Um, there could be a reason why they might feel that they are they are in competition. They feel they've like zeroed in on this one person and what they've got going, because they have, they're holding a grudge. But it's an injustice. Whatever they're doing is not correct. Um, they're just holding a grudge and acting recklessly towards someone who's in the upright empress upright queen of wands upright queen of pentacles upright and they see this person as in the upright they don't it's not that someone's doing something to anyone wrong no one's doing anything wrong they are they are building something they've got ships coming in this person tried to block it or is trying to steal lie cheat steal to stop the, the goods and services from coming in to the shore. This person has their eye on the prize. They've put in the work. But someone's trying to steal the goods and services. Why are they trying to steal? Because they feel like this person's going to get accolades. Why is that a problem if someone gets accolades? In this person's mind, this grudge holder... There's something about like a, a perception they want people to have about this person because because they're in competition with them because they feel like if this person is admired for what they've produced um, then for one this person will have arrived they will have achieved something a milestone someone will have achieved a milestone and a cell it's it'll be, it'll be a celebration and others will see it this person doesn't want other people to see what this person's all about or what they've created or what their mission is they don't want that Th this could be because there's a masculine energy or someone else or someone that they're in competition with and they don't want this masculine energy to see what this person's capabilities are this person feels like if they can stand in, in the way that others won't help them or join forces with them um this person will you know this could be a very powerful feminine energy who has a lot to offer and a lot of people to help so this person is not just blocking this one feminine they, they're that's why it's such an injustice for them to try to stand in the way because of like they probably also with this lying cheating stealing it's a lying card have said some things as well to try to block them and get them to be rejected um also capital 
the weak, the less money they have, the weaker this person would be. Um, in order to, to manufacture, to create, to hire others, all of the things this person is trying to block all of every aspect that they can. And like I said from the beginning, they're, they're going through a lot of turbulence, but all they can focus on is this empress. So this person is, they're holding a grudge. They're very focused on one person. There's also, I feel like there's a, could be a masculine energy here that they're, they've been in competition, you know, that how people do that. It's like mean girls in high school or something. It's like that kind of energy where someone, someone tries to take someone else's man. It's like that. It's like, and they feel like they got one over on someone because, and this masculine energy, I feel like this is someone who defames this person or says that calls them names or says they're worthless or that they can't produce, they can't produce um, goods and services, that they're not worth anything. That this is someone who's worthless. So then if this person produces things, it makes this person look like they just started the drama and try to force their way, you know, to get someone rejected. If this masculine energy sees, sees that it's a bunch of lies or there's some sort of like this, this uh, illusion that someone's trying to create about this queen of wands, because they could be saying this queen of wands is like a, uh, you know, Queen of Wands can be very enigmatic, you know, so someone could be trying to slut shame someone or, or say that someone else is only just attracted to, to someone who doesn't have any other purpose and that someone is like superficial for being attracted to or loving or being fond of this person who might, you know, someone might zero in on someone's physical traits or something about them and be able to, because of the way that society, um, you know, views feminine energies or just certain people, um, certain energies, it, they're zeroing in, trying to create a, um, an illusion about this person's worth. They're trying to devalue someone based on their, their looks. If someone has a, like a strong sex appeal or is exotic, quote unquote, um, that's quotes. Um, someone is trying to play on that and say that people are, if anyone, um, supports this person it's because they are superficial that this person is only good for one thing so and then in the meantime trying to block all the work this person's putting in so that's that's the thing and if there's a masculine energy who's attracted to this person some someone's trying to gaslight someone and confuse them that there's no ships coming in with this person no ships. But what they're doing is they're stealing the ships in the background. They're stealing the ships from the Queen of Wands who is who is putting the work in. They're trying to remove the screws and the nails uh, as each as this person works. And they're trying to misguide others. They're they're um, telling others untruths. It's very superficial. This person has hidden motives. It's going to be a mistake. It's the universe is going to balance this out. If someone, this queen of wands may, may come across in a certain way, but this person embodies all queens of the deck here. Queen of swords, highly intelligent, perceptive, graceful, balanced. Um, queen of pentacles, generous, truthful, practical. Um, queen of wands, confident, enigmatic, creative. Empress, abundant, supportive. These are all very good qualities to have as like a, um, a feminine energy that is as a leading, a leader. This is a good leader. And someone's in the, the background trying to steal or stop what this person is creating. Every time someone screws in a screw, this person uh, waits till no one's looking and unscrews it. <laughs> I hope that that's making sense. And 
and or pirating the ships. If they missed something, then they try to figure out a way to stop the ships from coming in as someone's watching for it. They're waiting. But this person, you know, yeah. The other thing that I wanted to say is that this could be also a masculine energy that's from the past. Their grudge could be different. I, I mean, there's definitely, no matter what, there's someone starting a drama here that's, I feel, a feminine energy. There's a feminine energy here. But I just have to also say that there could be a masculine energy that's some sort of an ex that can't stand to see someone recover. It's one of those things that if someone, like, they left someone out of a power play uh, that they still were invested in and they they... They want to feel like they made the right choice in the only way. Uh, they, they feel like they'll look like, like a schmuck if, if this person um, self-actualizes because then they made the right choice, especially if there's money losses here. There's definitely money losses and people are not getting along. So either, whoever it is that's doing this stuff, they're acting recklessly. Let's see what their intentions are. Yeah, I feel like the reason why this is, um, moving on, this is like trying to stop this person from like, yeah, it's something about not being able to move on, not being able to move on. This is like trying to stop someone from moving forward and they're going to try to use a group of people moving on reverse, not moving on karmic friends. They don't want also like this group of friends or some, something about a group here. I also got someone who could be trying to plan some sort of a pregnancy to baby trap. That's for a select few. Trying to plan Empress could be pregnancy as well. It could be a mother figure. Um, but this, the thing is, this is like an empress who just is continually regenerating. So the thing is, is like this person's exhausting themselves out because this person is very productive. So it feels like maybe, you know, one for one, the universe is balancing itself out, creating these types of this is bad karma. Essentially, this person's experiencing bad karma for doing this. So they've got to deal with that. And they're exhausting themselves by trying to slow someone down who's very productive and abundant and, and trying to help others as well. Or has an eye, because Empress is like compassionate. It's someone who helps people to prosper just by their energy or their intentions or however you want to describe the empress so and this person's not tapped in so they're basically like they're fighting the universe they're just going to exhaust themselves more and more and more and they're already experiencing a loss and they're trying to recover, but they're experiencing the loss because of all the things that I just said. So someone didn't listen, someone someone made a mistake. I think I'm gonna try to stop that Empress from like, I don't know. I feel like they are being rejected somehow or something. Yeah, uninterested. They made a mistake. Whatever they try to do, if they're trying to get someone to like move on from this Empress, it's going to come back so quickly. Also, you know, time is speeding up. We're like, we're just, it, human beings are evolving. Everyone are. So it's like, get with the program energy. Like, which side of the energies are you going to be on? Because things are coming back so much more quickly. You know, it's the universe we live in. And uh, the rules... The rules are not the same. Moving slowly and doing this kind of stuff, even the thoughts that you think about others, everything, energy is moving so much more quickly because people are evolving. And so, wow, this person has these intentions now. Immediately, it's like a fast rubber band. It's going to smack them right back in the face with this, like, quick sting. That's exactly what's going to happen. Whoever's involved in this is going to also feel it. 
Wow. Look at that. They're trying to get someone to be uninterested in this empress. And the minute, like, this is like tomorrow. This is like in two hours even. This is like definitely within the week. Three days max. This is happening very fast. Wow. They're not listening to their better judgment. Something about they need money. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, like this is lack. There's some sort of a lack. This person is like out in the cold, they're trying to recover. Something about giving money, reverse. I mean, actively, this could be someone who is trying to recover. They can't get any money, but what they're also trying to recover from is the fact that this Empress is just continually abundant in spite of the fact that they keep trying to like pirate their ships. Um, I don't even want to use the word pirate because I feel like pirate has a connotation that's like, has a like, you know, because sometimes pirates, you know, I just, you know, they feel like they've got like a Robin Hood energy when you, I mean, I feel, I feel like actually, let me just take that back. Um, I just don't want to use the word pirate anymore. Um, maybe because it's defamatory. I don't know. So I won't say pirate, but it feels like that's the energy of what they're trying to do with the ships, but I'm not going to call them a pirate. <laughs> um, but I do feel like they're trying to, um, they could be trying to stop some money, money, goods or money coming in for this part. They're trying to recover on their own, giving money. Someone won't give them money. They're out in the cold. They're not listening to their better judgment, though. But I feel like they're trying to stop some funds or money coming to this empress. I do feel that way. They don't want this person to move onwards and upwards and to be abundant. They're so afraid of um, this lies that they said about this person being this queen of wands. I can almost hear the words. It's like... Um, I could hear it's like in a room with a masculine energy and it's like, cause I did a reading last night about the same, same energy where it comes from is like trying to gaslight or confuse a masculine energy who loves this person and accusing them of only being after them because they're, you know, sexy. And, the, and accusing this masculine energy of being superficial and not serious and not focused on business and that if they went towards this person, they'll never achieve anything. That, that this person, this drama starter who, who's been pirating, pirating in the background, trying to sneak and stop this person from prospering, this feminine, this divine feminine energy, they're doing that in the background and then they're accusing them of not accomplishing anything so that they can, so that what they're accusing them of actualizes. But they see them as this very like, because this is their vision, this is their reading, this, they see them as all of these amazing traits. They see them that way, but they're trying to block everyone else's vision of that. They're working very hard. This is all they're focused on, is this Empress. So they're trying to stop this, this masculine energy from seeing this person or even, you know, going towards this person that they love. Um, in some cases, in some cases, try to stop this person. There could be like a soulmate connection here. This could be someone who's involved in a situation that's very karmic, which just means a relationship that's there to teach lessons, to teach lessons. Karmic also, the, the way karmic means someone who doesn't then learn from the lessons or they just teach harsh lessons over and over and over again just like interacting with this energy just means karmic lessons that's their purpose is to like teach lessons um, but people gr grow from this um, so if this person it can successfully block this empress energy from this feels like um, enterprise 
then, then whatever they keep saying will be true. But this person feels like their ego or something is attached to the outcome, and that's why they're afraid of this deception coming out about this Queen of Wands, if that makes sense. And obviously there's something broken in, in our world, in our culture, that would make it possible for this person to, to do this at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just type of hysteria or like the witch trials or something like that where someone can belittle belittle someone based on their their looks or the thing is is if someone like looks a certain way, that doesn't mean that they're not able to do all of these things. They can be all they can look this way and also be all of these other things. So this person's playing on the weaknesses that others ha hold towards, towards feminine energy, some sort of like bias. They're using it. And then, so this competition is over. This competition is over with this Queen of Pentacles though. Um, someone's not chasing someone anymore. Um, Queen of Wands, boss bitch reverse. That's what I was trying to say. There's a deception. They're trying to say this person is not, this person is not a boss bitch. I'm very, I'm very clear about what this is. There's someone here who is trying to deceive others. Moon, deceive others. Moon, Queen of Wands, about this person's capabilities because they are pirating their ships in the background. Secretly stealing, lying, cheating, trying their best to make it a self-fulfilling prophecy. They accuse this person of it. And that's their biggest fear is that this person um, not only recovers, but is able to um, remain positive because this Empress is highly aware of what's going on. This person hopes this person will give up um, wow. Lose faith, lose hope. And then the world then, um, then the world loses, would lose if this person were to be successful, which they're not, would lose a very, very positive force of loving energy we need in the world. We need leadership from feminine energies that aren't based on an old paradigm that tears things down to build. There's other ways to go about it. And it's new too. It's I mean it's not new. I mean I guess it is. I feel like there's it's this is a feminine energy is operating very much out of like a very aggressive competitive energy, but I feel like with the strength here, this judgment judgment is here. No matter what, they're gonna have to keep returning to the fact that they're trying to stop someone's ships from coming in. Um and whatever their ego is, their ego, their ego is going to get hurt. Their ego is going to get hurt, whatever they're trying to do. And I don't know what this child services is here. Um, I don't know why that's there. Some, something to do. Whatever they're doing, because this is something that's involved with your light irritates their demons. Um, it's going to be reversed. So there you go. Um, if you resonate with this message, wolf in sheep's clothing, people are seeing them for who they are, and if they've been accusing you of being something terrible other than what you are, then this empress um, in the upright, that is also being seen. Um, I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to, something reckless again, but it, like really quickly, it like, it, it like backfires really fast, this person. I don't know if they're trying to stop money from coming in or whatever it is, but it's just that they're experiencing whatever they're trying to do to you. And I see you moving forward here in a really beautiful way. So there you go. Um, this person, it's going to keep exposing themselves. So um, if you guys need, I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next read. Bye.